Hello everyone, my name is Rexby and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Last time around we met with the Spirit of Light Ordona and he told us that we have to go back to the place where we got first turned into this wolf form to regain our original form. So let's just do exactly that to make sure we can turn back into a you. So this is it. This is where we got pulled into the Twilight the first time around. Hey, look. Farron Witch that you know so well. You're now covered in twilight. You might not be able to come back here, but you still want to go? Yes. We do. So, in goes Midna, and out comes a giant hand that pulls us in quite roughly. But it's what we needed to do. So, now we're in Farron Woods, but, well, a twilight version of the Farron Woods. Hmm, so these are the weapons you use in your world? You really think this can slake the creature of the twilight? <laughs> well, I won't use these, but I'll hang on to them for you. Alright, a promise is a promise. I trust you enough to help. In exchange for my help though, you need to get her some things for me. Look, I can't tell you all the details now, but it'll be easy, trust me. But enough about that, do you hear that noise? It's a lamentation of the spirit that had its light stolen. Where in the world could it be? <laughs> Better get going, don't you think? Don't blame me for your world's fate if you don't hurry up and find that light. Come on, snap to it! So yeah, um, we are gonna have to help me now with something because we totally trust her, right? Yeah, nothing bad will ever happen, but uh, what, what's this now? Oh, looks like uh, it's more of those creatures, except this time there are three of them. So, what what does that matter? You know, it was easy to kill one. It should be easy to kill three, right? Well, there is one slight difference uh, with regards to it. Ah, oh, we're penning again. Pff, who do you think they're dealing with? No need to take this little pest on one at a time. You can take them all at once. So, you can handle this by yourself, can't you? Good luck. Bye. Um, yeah, no, you cannot actually do this by yourself at all. Um, because it's actually quite tough. Because you need to focus on one at a time. And you can only kill one at a time. And that is exactly where the problem comes in. Because if you do not kill the last two at the same time, then they will simply respawn. And... That's gonna mean that we're gonna have to redo this over and over and yeah that 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 won't really work out at all will it so what's the hold up if you leave the last one alive it's just going to use that streak to bring the others back listen let me help you just move like I tell you just hold down B and expand the energy field so yeah if we hold down B expand the energy field target both of them there we go easy peasy Unfortunately, you cannot do that until she tells you. So, I got hit again, and now we get the beeping sound. That's that's wonderful, Midna. Thank you so much. Let's just move on now and uh, go to the lamentation of the spirit of light, which is right over here. Please, be careful. These woods have changed. The dark clouds of dusk cover this land. This drape of shadows is called twilight. In this twilight, those who live in the light become as mere spirits. It is a place where the dark ones and evil creatures dwell. I am a spirit of light. 
blue-eyed beast. Look for my light. Retrieve the light stolen by the dark beasts and keep it in this vessel. So we get the vessel of light. It's crucial collecting the tears of light. Which a lot of people really hated in the original Twilight Princess. They thought it was a really bad gimmick. Let's see if they improved on this at all. And uh, yeah, we can see at least which ones hold it. In the shadows of twilight, the dark insects are as invisible as normal beings are here. Let me use the last of my powers to reveal the locations of the dark insects that consumed the light. So we actually get shown on the map where all of them are. So I guess that's a bit better now. Find the insects of darkness. The dark insects. They are the form taken by evil once it has latched on to our scattered light. So with that we are now off on our adventure to uh, try and find all of these uh, spirits of light. And well, you can see them right over there. Yep, these are indeed spirits of light, and if we attack them, well, a little tear will pop out, and just like that, you can collect it. So, uh, yeah, it's not too difficult, luckily. Um, but, yeah, there are a lot that we need to get, and I got hit again. I am doing so bad. Uh, let's do some digging for some rupees. I think I could use some, but mm, not really getting much. That's okay, though. Uh, if we move on here, well, we can see another one, but, well, it went underneath that gate. That's, uh, annoying. Because, well, uh, we'll just have to leave that one for a little bit. Because I believe that if we come over here, there actually is another one, too. If I, uh, recall correctly. Wait, wait, don't go too far. You still have stuff to do in these woods, don't you? Come back. Ah, uh, yeah. Right, I think it's actually uh, inside this house then. Because if you look on the minimap, there is definitely one somewhere over here. So let's uh, use Midna to uh, get over inside of this house and see what it holds. And then we're going to use our senses and... Huh, yeah. W what's with these bugs? Those things are normal. They're so big, so weird, so creepy. Come on, get away, bugs. Shoo, get out of here. Yep, there are indeed bugs here. Well, let's uh, take these out too. And collect our tears of light. What? What? They just died? Oh boy, I have no idea what's going on around here. Yeah, he's definitely very scared. And honestly, can you blame him? I don't think I can. Because uh, it must be very weird for him. But that does take care of that. We could take care of that scarecrow, but I don't think it'll do much. So, um, oh, don't want to walk up there. Let's just uh, move on now over to this gate. And, uh, well, it is locked. But luckily, as a wolf, we can just dig right under through and pop out on the other side. And then this bug of light or spirit of light or... Whatever they're called. Insect of Darkness. I don't know. We can easily take it out and uh, collect our next tier of light. And with that, we are now going to go through this little cave. Uh, we came through here before, of course. But uh, yeah, now we're going through this area as a wolf. Which uh, is a little bit different. But mostly also uh, rather still like it's it's the same area essentially the area itself didn't change it's just that the way we traverse through it has changed i don't know why i went to this little pot because i don't think over here actually is yeah there's no tear of light over here i just uh wasted a heart going there and uh, if that gets me a game over i'm i'm, I'm gonna be so so upset because i shouldn't have done that Wait, where are we digging into? Huh. 
I guess we're digging to the outside. Sure, that works. Oh no, wait, that brought us back to the start. Well, dang. Didn't mean to do that. Let's dig here at the start. And that pops us all the way to the end, actually. So yeah, it's a really useful shortcut. And then we exit out here. That's what I should have done from the start. So we get into this next area and, well, it looks like the ground has changed a bit. And not for the better. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much pretty poisonous so you don't want to touch that at all um, what you do want to touch though is this bug here there we go and uh, I believe there is another one somewhere over here no hmm. I, I guess it's not down here anywhere and I guess digging for anything is not gonna do us any good no, okay. Well, we are uh, going to have to uh, use Midna to uh, get through here. Because, well, we cannot jump uh, across this by ourselves. So, yeah, let's use Midna. And, oh, there's more creatures here. Come on, come on, jump. There we go. And there we go. That's two more down. And uh, they seem to restore our health, actually. I didn't really realize that before. Yeah, I didn't mean to call you, Midna. But uh, thanks for your help, anyway. Now we need to call you. And jump across all of these gaps. And... This is a pretty cool one, because you need to time this right, else you get taken out by that uh, giant, well, axe, I guess it is. Wait, did we miss... I feel like we actually missed a spirit of light back there. Or didn't we? Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll just keep going, and uh, if I miss one... Oh my god, please, no, Midna. Don't, don't talk to me constantly. I mean, I know I'm calling for your help, but I'm doing it on accident, so I'm still going to blame you. So yeah, they actually uh, dug themselves into the ground right now, so we're going to have to dig to get them out. And please, there we go. So let's dig this other one out too. And that should allow us to collect them. Oh, come on, I need to stop pressing Alan Cold Nick now. That is totally on me. Um, but yeah, there we go. That means there's only two more, and they should be in this last area over here. But, right as we go in here, well... There's three of these creatures. Now what I like to do is, if there are three or something, I'll just take out one that's furthest away from the others. And then I'll get the other two together and take them out like this. And that's pretty much the quickest way. It's fine to kill some of them, just as long as you kill the last two together. You can also kill all last three together or something, if you can. Uh, sometimes you're just not able to because they're too far apart or something. But Yeah, just, just do whatever works, essentially. I mean, we need to go all the way up there. It doesn't look like there's anyone else over here. Looks like that little bird who set up shop doesn't appear to be over here. But, uh, yeah. Oh, it's a little monkey. Now, we could speak with the monkey, but I'm just going to kill these uh, light creatures. and That seems to make the monkey a lot happier. Someone, someone help me? Boy, lucky for me. Ever since the boss went funny in the head, there have been scary monsters everywhere. Those village kids got led through the woods for some reason. The whole forest is so weird now. What's happened? Hmm, yeah, what has happened indeed? It's all very peculiar. But there we go. We have gotten all tiers of light. The vessel of light is full of tears. And light has returned to this area. So 
there we go the sun is shining everything looks nice and pretty oh but it was so nice here in the twilight what's so great about a world of light anyway <laughs> sorry see you later Ooh, I like how this one looks. He's a cool spirit. My name is Pharaoh. I am one of the spirits of light who dwell in Hyrule. By the order of the gods, I protect this forest. Oh, brave youth. In the land covered in twilight, where people roam as spirits, you were transformed into a blue-eyed beast. That was a sign. It was a sign that the powers of the Chosen One rest within you, and that they are awakening. Look at your awakened form. That's right, we're suddenly wearing different clothes. The green tunic that is your garb once belonged to an ancient hero chosen by the gods. His power is yours. His is the true power that slept within you. Your name is Rexby. You are the hero chosen by the gods. That's right, we are the hero. Brave Rexby. A dark power rests in the temple deep within these woods. It is a forbidden power. Long, long ago, I and the other spirits of light locked it away. Because of its nature, it is a power that should never be touched by any who dwell in the light. But this world weeps beneath the mantle of shadows, and so there is no choice. You must match the power of the King of Shadows. If you would seek this forbidden power, then proceed to the temple in the forest depths. That's right, we have our first quest given to us by Pharaon, the Spirit of Light, here in this forest. And that means that our first temple is coming up very, very soon. Well, well, you're the chosen here and all that, huh? So that's why you turned into that beast. What a shame. I mean, maybe you'd rather just wander the spirit like the rest of them, totally unaware of what was happening for all eternity, right? Hey, so what do you want to do? Do you want to head to the temple? Well, isn't that convenient? I was about to head there myself. Hey, look, you want to help your friends, right? The way I see it, maybe they're in the temple, waiting for you to rescue them. Well, good luck, Mr. Important Hero. See you later. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more, then please do consider subscribing to my channel down below. It's very much appreciated. And while you're down there, maybe leave a thumbs up, and we'll see you all next time.